Hello everyone, the 13 Scala here, but please do just call me Stairs. I just wanted to pop in and let you know that this first aired on Twitch on this date, and I'll have a link down in the description below if you want to catch the action live as it happens over there. But enough rambling, let's get into today's video. I do. Uh, I am in the process of still trying to figure out Unity. I initially was planning- oh, they're not happy. I was initially planning on going to school for it, um, and I did for about a year, but I wasn't, I wasn't happy with my school's program. It was a lot of like, go YouTube this and help desk file that, and it's like, I'm paying you, what, eight to ten grand a year for you to tell me? To just Google it? Like, I don't know, that that just didn't sit well with me. So I ended up leaving that program. But I've been trying to figure it out more on my own. I did manage to learn a lot, but they were trying to, yeah. They were also trying to make us make games in like 3DS Max and Maya. And for perspective, the only company that I'm aware of that successfully makes games using Maya, which is a form of like 3DS Max just with like a blender kind of option into it. Um, the only company that I know of that uses it is, is EA. And EA will only use it for, I'm gonna change that out. But EA will only use it for cutscenes. They refuse to use it to actually make the whole game. They'll make their own engine for everything else, but they only use that for like making the video portion of games. Which admittedly does look good, but if they are refusing to use it for the whole game and only use it for cutscenes, I think it's kind of dumb to try to force students to learn how to make the whole game and in it. But, you know, that's that's just me. I got five extra. Yeah. I don't know if it's just the fact that, like, they spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah, true. I, yeah, and, I'm, and I don't know if it's just because EA spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars trying to make the Frostbite engine. They do. That they do. And I, so it's like, I don't, like while there is a professional in the industry that uses it, keep in mind the professional that you're referring to. If, if you were telling me straight up that Blizzard was using it for their cutscenes only, and that's why you're teaching it to us as in an animation based style, then I'd be like, yeah, of course. Like it makes complete sense for us to be learning Maya, but to make the whole game in Maya, I think I've only ever seen one game that I actually think may have been made entirely with Maya, and I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm really not. But the game is called Elex, and don't don't waste your money on it, don't waste your time on it. If it's free, don't try it. It's not worth it. I paid money for it, and I severely regret that decision every day. But as I was playing through the game, it very much, it was made by Gearbox too. It very much like, just is, it's awful. It, it looks hideous, it plays hideous. And I feel bad, cause like, I, I really wanted the game to work. But it, it just, it wasn't going to. It was very ambitious from the start. And it just didn't look or play great. Like, if you if you look up Elex, like, maybe walkthrough or something like that, or, or just, like, maybe the first hour of the game, you'll see what kind of a dumpster fire it is, and it's, like, E-L-E-X. Yeah. If, if you want to... If you want to see it burned down by all means. I I believe that it's supposed to be a sci-fi epic of some kind, but when you start off, like, you have literally nothing at your disposal. 
you've got like a pipe that you find on the ground. Essentially, you got knocked out by people who are supposed to be like your team, and you just wake up and they've like jacked your whole armor. Somebody's just jacked all your armor. You're on your own, and you have to like, I guess, build your way progressively back up to like that space age that you're supposed to be in that you got kind of kicked out of. But the cutscenes look bad. They delay horribly. The textures don't render all the way in their cutscenes. And that's not like a coming from the computer thing. That's a, I've looked at the same, com the same, like, scene multiple times. And it should be flawless for that, but... It's almost like they didn't really texture it. Or they did the bare minimum to texture it. Oh wow, you guys are... You guys are bad off, man. That, that was on me. Alright, are we any closer to being able to work with Victor? No? What does it take to work with Victor? Where's my phone? Do I have that? I don't even know. Oh wait, there it is. Let me look it up. Let me look up the, uh... Slime, Venture, Vic, or Expansion. Just because I'm curious. So what Victor has for us is essentially we go into a matrix. No, 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 it's fine. Um, we essentially go into a matrix. He has created an AI-like program full of slimes that you would find in the real world and real areas that you would normally see throughout throughout the game. And there's a problem though that there is a bug that's adapting and it looks kind of like actual normal slimes and actual normal things, but it comes down to your ability to understand the environment that you're in to realize whether or not that's actually there or a fake slime. And be able to tell the difference between the fake and real slimes. Um, let's see. The lab must be purchased and have Treasure Cracker 2 unlocked. And then a range exchange must be completed. Let's see if I unlock Treasure Cracker 2. Because if I've been sitting here waiting for this to happen, and Treasure Cracker 2 has just been a thing. I'm going to be so upset. It has not. And I think the contingency is the number of treasure crackers I've already opened. I think. Do we have anything? No. But I do have a boatload of money, so I'm going to go spend it. And advance. That's what I was looking for. Alright. That's that's what I was looking for. Advanced slime toys. That makes me happier. Um let's give you to the mosaics. So that these guys can stop lighting people on fire. And I need I need to calm down the big guys. Puzzle cube. All right, we're going to these guys. No, it's all right. Um, just so you know, going forward, I do have my schedule posted up on my Twitch page, but I will be streaming next on Thursday. But uh, it was great having you here, and I'm actually gonna be wrapping up myself, so there we go. Thanks everyone so much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw here today. As well as, don't forget to come check me out over on Twitch. Have a good day, everyone.